Today on the On3 Roundtable, we're talking with Texas Longhorn expert Jerry Hamilton from Inside Texas, the very best in the Texas market. All right, the Longhorns finished third overall in the On3 industry rankings last cycle. Arch Manning obviously headlined it. But what other true freshmen do you think can make an impact this year on the field for Texas? Yeah, Anthony Hill, linebacker, uh, On3 composite, our industry ranking five-star um, he had a great spring, an early enrollee. Uh, there's a lot of talk in Austin. He's going to start at the Will linebacker spot from day one. That would be a, a rarity, obviously, but Kelvin Banks did do that at left tackle a year ago. So Anthony Hill is one. Malik Muhammad, Josh, the corner out of uh, South Oak Cliff, had a tremendous spring, a natural coverage guy uh, that plays physically uh, against the run he'll really come up and run support which is i think the bell he had the answer because everybody knew he was talented in coverage mm -hmm. uh leona lafau linebacker out of hawaii another early enrollee i mean texas had 14 i believe early enrollees mm -hmm. some of these guys had really good springs lafau is a natural in coverage at the linebacker position that could get him on the field because texas is a little thin at depth at linebacker uh come in headed into the spring then you have the receivers john Tay cook and DeAndre Moore, DeAndre Moore is a tremendous route runner, Josh. Natural hand snatches the ball in traffic. John Tay Cook's that explosive guy that has something coming in and out of breaks that maybe only Xavier Worthy has in the program. And then I'm not sure I'm saving the best for last, but Cedric Baxter is going to have to have an impact, kind of like Anthony Hill, Josh. I mean, Bijan Robinson is gone. Roshan Johnson's gone. Bijan, you didn't even have to block a play for him to get 10 right. yards last year. That's different this year. So Jonathan Brooks, Cedric Baxter are, I think, going to combine to share that load at running back. Cedric Baxter had a good spring getting his feet wet. He's really advanced in pass protection, which I think is a key for a freshman running back. But he catches the ball well. He's got some leadership stuff I saw at Edgewater High School in my visits there last year, which gives him the chance to make an impact. It's more than just taking a handoff, right? It's being in the room, being a leader, being answering the bell physically, catching the ball in pass protection. I think Cedric Baxter is going to answer those questions early. I'm glad you brought up Cedric Baxter, number one running back in the state of Florida. Texas pulls him out in this year. They're in it for the number one running back again. This time it's Jarrett Gibson out of IMG Academy. Can Texas land the number one running back in back-to-back -back years? Yeah, I think it's a great question. Look, to Shard Choice, the same guy's recruiting him, obviously. <laughs> He's been recruiting both. He had been recruiting Baxter for two years plus, but when he was at Georgia Tech, same thing with Jarrett Gibson now. What's interesting is with Texas and Gibson, look, Miami's going to make that run. Miami made the was the team that made the run at Cedric Baxter before he picked Texas mm -hmm. last year. The interesting thing there is what Texas has help from along with Tashar Choice's great relationship is Cedric Baxter and Peyton Kirkland from the Orlando area are on campus at Texas. We're there for the spring. Cedric Baxter, Kirkland, they're telling, saying positive things to Jarrett Gibson. So that helps Texas trying to hold off Miami, possibly Tennessee, uh, for Jarrett Gibson. But when you have guys from the same state, the same area, that just signed with Texas, and they're saying really good uh, things about their time in Austin as early enrollees, that does nothing but help Texas in that regard. Uh, the only thing I think that could hurt Texas potentially is Cedric Baxter as a freshman. Jonathan Brooks is, is a junior. Uh, there's other backs, uh, Savion Red, who they moved the running backs a sophomore. So, is there enough of a log jam for Miami to get in there and sway Gibson off his Texas lean? We'll see. But I think this, the relationships of choice are really strong. All right, Jerry Hamilton, who is the most important recruit for the Longhorns in 2024? Colin Simmons, period, in the discussion. That Look, that's nothing against Micah Hudson, nothing against Kobe Black. There's some tremendous five-star prospects in Texas. But Colin Simmons, the number one edge prospect in the country, he's from Duncanville High School. Um, Texas is moving to the SEC next year, and who are you battling? He's going to sign with the SEC program. You're battling LSU, you're battling Georgia, you're battling Alabama, you're battling A&M and Florida. This is one you have to win. Uh, there are certain must-get recruitments. There are certain guys that programs just in the state can't afford to lose, or you go back to Doriel Green Beckham, you go back to some of those guys we've talked about through the years. Uh, but Texas needs to win. They must win for Colin Simmons, number one edge prospect in the country. If you look at the Texas team this year, we talk about Texas getting the 10 wins and that kind of getting Steve Sarkeesian over that hump and really getting some mm -hmm. tidal wave of momentum moving into SEC. 
they had they haven't signed that five star edge prospect. They've signed a lot of five star guys in these first, the last two classes and some really talented players. But the edge position is the one when you look at this team headed into this year that you know they're one guy that 10 11 12 sack guy that the guy that scares defensive coordinators that they're that guy away from really being a contender in people's eyes and it doesn't get better than colin simmons and look lsu's got a lot of flavor in the dallas fort worth area right now especially at duncanville high that the cory and more the junior receiver a couple other guys there alex january who's gonna likely goes to texas over lsu a texas legacy at d tackle uh, LSU's got some flavor at Duncanville right now, and, and those kids know Colin Simmons likes LSU, so that even is a bigger recruitment for Texas to win. All right, Jerry, thanks for dropping all the inside info on the On3 roundtable. Appreciate you. You got it, Josh. Thanks. Texas fans, if you like that video, go check out all the content on Inside Texas, and remember to subscribe to the On3 roundtable.